Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to understand concept of method overloading. As the name suggests, you can load method with different arguments. Because if you want to create method with the same name in the same class, it's not possible. But still, if you want to create it, you can create if the method has different parameters. Let me just show it to you practically. So let's say I create one method here. So let's say name of the method is, I'm creating it public, integer, name of the method sum. And here I wrote int a comma int b. Body of the method is, int c assign a plus b return a return c so it's going to add a and b return your result which is stored in c so c will be returned whenever you will call this method we know about it. Now, what is method overloading? If I want to create the same method, so let me just copy it. And I will be writing here the same thing. If I'm creating the same method again within the class, it's going to give me error. If you read the error, they're saying rename method sum to something else. That means you need to change the name because names are same. Not only name is same, number of arguments are also same. Let's say I'm going to change number of argument here. Instead of writing two arguments, I'm going to make one argument here. So int a, and here also I will remove b, make a simple body of this method. So now it's not giving me any error. So this is called method overloading. That means you can have two methods with same name but with different number of parameters. So number of parameters are different. Here we have two parameters. Here I have only one parameter. So I can have same name of method in a same class, but number of parameters should be different. So this is called method overloading. Let's say if I want to call this method, here I need to create its object. So first I will write new name of the class. So here my class name is overloading. And I will be referring it with some reference. So here overloading, that is name of my class, object reference name. And if I want to call it, I'll write obj dot, look at this. I'm getting two methods here, some with one parameter and some with two parameters. So here, I'm using the one, I wrote 10 here. And you can call another one again, OPJ dot, this one. You can write, pass parameter values here. Now these two are different methods. If you want to display result of it, system dot out dot println, and I will be displaying result of it. Same for second method. Let's execute it. Look at this. One is returning me 10 because as the body is saying, when A is assigned to C, so I passed A as 10, 10 is assigned to C, and C has been returned to me as a result, so 10 will be returned. Second is saying 2 comma 4, that is I'm adding 2 into 4, and it is returning me 6. So same method name, but different arguments, and I can call them separately. This concept is called method overloading. That's all for this video. Thanks for now.